Ladies and gentlemen, Laurie Cardoza Moore with Proclaiming Justice to the Nations. I want to thank all of our PJTN watchmen for your steadfast support in what we are doing at PJTN and for your um, involvement in helping us to move our initiatives forward. Uh, I'm reaching out to you again today about Ilhan Omar. And many of you know that we have a petition on our website that we put out last year calling on all of our PJTM watchmen to sign the petition to remove Ilhan Omar from office because of her anti-Semitic views, because she doesn't represent American Judeo-Christian values. And of course now, a year over a year later, we're getting to see her true colors. Not only is she an anti-Semite and hates Jews and Israel, she hates Americans and America and our constitution as well. And so ladies and gentlemen, we put out a letter to the Attorney General, William Barr, asking him to please launch an investigation. And that's what this petition is for. Not only is Ilhan Omar raising money for Muslim Brotherhood front groups here in the United States to fund terrorism, she is also involved in supporting the Marxist-Leninist terrorist groups like Black Lives Matter. And yes, we know who Black Lives Matter is. We know who the funders are behind it. It is not an organization that fights racism. How do we know that? Because a couple of weeks ago, when Black Lives Matter moved through Los Angeles, they launched their own pogrom. And they chose to, to pick a Jewish community in the Fairfax district of Los Angeles, where they desecrated churches and synagogues, they destroyed Jewish businesses, and then they spray painted on the Beverly Hills sign, kill Jews. Did any of the leadership with Black Lives Matter, the three Marxist Leninist women who started the movement, did they even bother putting out a statement condemning those within their group that were anti Semites? No, of course not, because they're anti Semites too. And how do we know that? Because they just aligned themselves with the Palestinians, the Arabs, who are also trying to destroy and wipe out the nation of Israel, not only the people. So, ladies and gentlemen, Enough is enough. We as Americans have to stand up. I thank President Trump for taking the bold stand in challenging this movement that he is. But now it's time for we the people, because this is our government, we have to take action. And that's why I'm reaching out to you right now. Ilhan Omar has to go. And ladies and gentlemen, the only way we're gonna get rid of her is if we gather the signatures calling on an investigation, that's all the Attorney General has to do is launch the investigation because once he does, he's going to find all the evidence he needs to charge her with treason and sedition. She needs to be removed. And Ilhan Omar, guess what? We're not going away. We are Americans after all, and we are going to fight for this constitution and this nation. And rest assured, when we do remove you from office and your thug partners, there will not be a monument erected on your behalf that Americans can tear down because you are not worthy of having any monument to remember your service by, except in our minds and in our history books it will be written of you that Americans rose up and they brought groups like yours, thugs like you, terrorists supporting people like you, that we removed them from office. So ladies and gentlemen, all you PJTM watchmen, let's do it again. We have work to do. And if you all live um, in a community where you need help in mobilizing your community to educate them about what's going on, contact me at info at pjtn.org. And also remember, go to the website, sign that petition at pjtn.org. God bless you and thank you for all you do on behalf of our Jewish brethren, the state of Israel, and these United States.